The U.S. Army is letting its hair down with some major changes to its grooming standards. Soldiers have described the standards of the past as historically excluding and in some cases harmful for women and people of color. Our Royce Jones shares more about the Army's diverse new makeover. A full transition to this brand new camouflage pattern is not the only change 2021 has to offer for U.S. Army members. Inclusion will now be a part of their uniformed look. Different times call for changes. To achieve her low military bun each day for the past 13 years, U.S. Army recruiter Captain Candace Laster begins her morning like this. Look it back with a big glob of hair gel and then hairspray, two or three different hair ties and try to fold it in there. The required look has been a real knockout. I would have tension headaches. Um, I was getting hair loss around my hairline from that constant pull. Sometimes when you turn left or right, you can feel it pulling. These issues and others now being combated under sweeping new grooming standards the U.S. Army announced Tuesday. Female soldiers will no longer have a hair length requirement. Styles like braids, locks, and twists will now be allowed. And those unable to slick their hair into a bun based on length or texture can and sport a ponytail, a significant advancement for Captain Laster and other women of color. We would find our soldiers forced to add chemicals to their hair, potentially perm their hair, or even add weave into their hair if that's not what they wanted, just so it would be long enough or straight enough to fit into that hairstyle. The changes also authorize natural colored highlights, lipstick, nail color, and earrings outside field or combat environments. And while this soldier does not see herself getting glam for work in the near future, the freedom to express her femininity is rewarding. They are finally starting to, I guess, include females and in the things that make us who we are as something that is authorized now. We the new regulations also scrap culturally offensive language used to describe hairstyles like mohawk and eccentric. And for the men, no beards yet, but they are allowed to have a little clear nail polish. The U.S. Army has also updated its breastfeeding policies. These changes go into effect on February 24th. I'm Royce Jones, KDKA News.